Elizabeth, despite last week's floods, local businesses seem to be back on their feet, but Supervisor Benoit says he doesn't want this ever to happen again, which is why construction on the Eagle Canyon Dam will begin next spring. This was the scene just one week ago along East Palm Canyon Drive. Floodwater filling stores and destroying merchandise, leaving a devastating impact. But now Riverside County Supervisor John J. Benoit says the county is prepared to start building a dam to prevent this from happening again. Uh, it's been a long time coming, too long, I'm sure, in the minds of the folks who got very wet last week. The Riverside County Flood Control District will be working to get the $10 million flood protection project completed in less than a year from the time it starts construction. Uh, money has been uh, in the account for the flood district for some time to do the project. Benoit says officials have been preparing for the construction of the Eagle Canyon Dam, and they'll start breaking ground in the spring. Local business owners say they're thrilled. If they want to uh, fix all this mess, I think that's a, a great news. Oh, I just feel really grateful that, that they did what they said they were going to do, and I'm very, very pleased. I'm a happy merchant. The Eagle Dam sits between Cathedral City and Palm Springs. Runoff from the mountains sends water and mud down the canyon and onto East Palm Canyon Drive. We actually have two projects here. We have the... Uh, the dam itself and then the flood control channel that will be built to take the runoff from the dam, now controlled and in one spot. Business owner Carol Dean Ross says last week Supervisor Benoit made her a promise to fix the problem. And he looked me in the eyes and told me he was going to do something about it and there it is. In the midst of all this disaster they have really come to the aid of the merchants and everything. Again, Supervisor Benoit says the coordination of the project has been years in the making, which is why they'll be able to start construction as early as March of 2013. Back to you, Elizabeth.